3.12 a.m. and I was not supposed to be filming this video. This video was not the point of tonight. Tonight was about playing a gameplay of Sniper Elite to edit, film, post Thursday. Tonight was about editing through our first ever gameplay of Cyberpunk from Simon. Very excited about that. Can't wait to tell you more about that. Tonight was about organizing and sending emails and planning the next giveaway. And guess what? I can't. Tonight's going to be about this conversation. A conversation that has me pissed off, has me pouring an additional shot. Because not only is it a conversation about individuals who are taking advantage of our community, but it's also a conversation about something that I just don't know that I have agency over. Like, I've tried to do some research on this. Bigger channels than me don't have agency over this. And so all I can do is be justifiably pissed off about it and tell you. Uh, and hopefully that stops the issue a bit. So let's talk about YouTube scammers. Let's have an educational lesson about people who want to take advantage of you, want to take advantage of our community, want to trick you into sending them money. And I wasn't even going to film this video. Uh, initially, because this happens from time to time, right? Except on this last giveaway video we did, the entire comment row was spammed with it. And when you block the channel, it doesn't get rid of all the messages. So we've been having people email us, letting us know that, hey, this seems like a scammer. Hey, this seems suspicious. Hey, I texted this number and it seemed really weird that they were in the way they were interacting with me. Multiple people followed up with a scammer. Multiple people got to some degree emotionally taken advantage of, uh, and financially taken advantage of. And on top of that, I wasn't even going to film the video then. And then I get contacted by one of our subscribers, uh, who explained uh, and expressed and sent screenshots of them being conned into sending just over $75 to these fucks. So yeah, we're going to film a video because that's a lot of money. That's a significant amount of money. That's a lot of people being taken advantage of. So I can stop that a little bit. Why wouldn't I, right? And, and they didn't do it as like, oh, you need to send $75. They did it like, hey, we need a $15 shipping charge from PayPal. Hey, PayPal didn't work. Try Zelle. Hey, Zelle didn't work. Try Venmo. Hey, it turns out we need a $50 limit on Venmo to be able to draw the money out. Can you send us more? We'll send you some back the whole switcheroo, right? Send it to his friends and family on PayPal. Yeah, so you can't fucking claim it and get your money back, right? That's how that works. And don't worry. The individual who lost $75 to the scammers, we're going to send them some games. We're going to send them a good collection of games uh, because they're our community and we care about our community and we do our best to take care of our community. And you know who is in our community? The people that want to take advantage of their people. So, let's go through the logistics of this. For those of you that are tuning in for the very first time, congratulations! You get to watch a video that, one, has me pissed off, uh, and two, uh, has me letting you know that we're doing a giveaway every week on the channel. Yeah, every week. We're giving away thousands of dollars of board games a year. Hopefully, tens of thousands of dollars of board games a year. I'm going to try to make this insane. But every single Saturday, our collection update video is going to have a snowballing uh, lottery style giveaway where if someone doesn't claim it within five days it gets lumped into the next giveaway and just continues getting bigger we've got publishers on board we might have a board game table company coming alongside us and we're giving away our personal collection as well not, not all of our personal collection but I've got too many games and I want to give those back to the community so if you're watching this congratulations you could be a winner tune in outside of that those of you that are entering to do a giveaway, there's a system here on YouTube. And the reason why I don't feel like it's agency over it is because YouTube historically has not taken time to address or try to prevent this style of scam happening. It's the bot accounts, the same with like the sex chat, chat site accounts. Uh, and they trigger off of various things like the porn accounts trigger when you're a new channel just posting general generic content and they'll just pop up everywhere just hundreds of them just message after message and you have to block and delete and, and hide and, and do all of that we have links disabled on our entire platform now which just hides anything someone tries to share which is not a lovely solution but it's certainly a step in the right direction here with this though my theory is that if i post giveaway in the video title my youtube video title 
There's accounts out there that scrub for the word giveaway. They then steal my channel's logo and image, name their channel something along the lines of Quackalope HQ or The Real Quackalope or Quackalakalakaloo, some nonsense thing like that. In this case, it was text and then the number they wanted you to message, but they do something along those lines. And then they go through and they respond to everyone in that comment thread who is entering to win. Congratulations, you just won. Congratulations. Send a message to the text number right above or send us a message on whatever it is, WhatsApp or Willabahoo or any of those other nonsense texting sites. Uh, and they'll include it somehow around brackets or graphics or in the text description or in the name of the, th of the thumbnail. And because it's on a friendly channel, and people don't interact with scammers on this platform, and because the image looks like Quackalope, and I think we've built up a decent amount of goodwill with our community, they take advantage of that goodwill and people text them. And then they take advantage of having an access point to someone who thinks they're talking to me as I'm explaining that, hey, I need more money for shipping, or hey, we wanna ship it out tomorrow, so we're gonna charge you a little bit extra. You know the thing that really pissed me off? The end of this entire conversation got to the point where the person who was scammed out of $75 responded to the person saying, hey, I really don't want to send any more money. Uh, I'm just going to, you know, call it, you know, uh, like, like lesson learned or, or money lost or whatever. Consider it a donation to Quackalope. Still at the end of this little emotional cycle, it, before they actually finally messaged me and figured out how to get a hold of me specifically, they, like, still thought it was me screwing with them. And the end of that conversation was them saying, like, man, I don't, I don't need the game. I just, I was just excited. I just wanted to support you. So, like, the 75 bucks, like, just consider it, consider it investment in you. It's like, you know, that sucks. So, on those giveaway videos, they find the title giveaway. They go through and scrub the comments, they respond to them, trick people into texting them, and then they manipulate them into getting money from them. And it's a quick, excitable scam. It doesn't take a lot of time to be like, oh, I just won, great, text this number. They responded, they said they need $15 shipping, done, over, whatever. And then you're just waiting, then you're just waiting for a game to show up. Like, it's easy to be excited, it's easy to fall prey to these people. That's why they do it. They, they don't do things like this if they didn't work. Right? And I, I know Alex has had issues with this. I know other channels have had issues with this. Um, and I don't, like, I've got one theory. I've got a theory I can test and we'll see if it works. But, like, the whole point of this is to build community, to have engagement, to get more people watching, to get more subscribers, to grow the channel, right? Like, that's why we're doing this. And I need to remove the title giveaway from my video. Which means, organically, it's less likely to have people come across it. It's harder to find and search for. But I, I think it's the only option to prevent this to some degree from our end. So I'm going to put it big in the thumbnail, and, and hopefully they don't scrub thumbnails as well, but the actual description is going to be like, you could win, or, you know, giving away. That's still close. I think win is still close. I'm going to have to test around a few different titles. I'm going to have to try to find a solution to this on my own because this video won't go far enough or be big enough or do whatever it needs to do to like let people know on our channel. We will never, we're going to ask you to email us at quackalope at gmail.com. And I'll give you a phone call if you want verification or something like that. We're never going to ask you to go through some weird texting site. We're never going to have you follow up directly from the comment. Like, it's, it's just, it's just going to be an email push. Um, and for those of you that, like, have emailed me and told me about this to try to protect other people in the community, thank you. You're awesome. I don't know what else we're able to do than be diligent as a community. If you see spam comments, report them, email me. Right? Don't trust them. And it doesn't help to report the channel specifically. We just have to block and delete because reporting the channel on YouTube has historically gone nowhere. So, you know, we'll just try to moderate our own community as, as best we can and ultimately get this message out there that there's people that want to take advantage of you. The internet is not always a friendly place. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's never how we're going to contact you. So I have...
Uh, some videos to edit. I have the rest of this shot to drink. Um, it's going to be a late night, and I'm going to get this processed, and I'm going to post this tomorrow because I don't, I don't have the time not to because the giveaway was three days ago, and some people have already been hurt and affected by this, which sucks. And uh, Thursday, we're going to be filming the actual draws, the actual winners. Uh, and then Saturday, another giveaway is going up. And then the Saturday after that, and then the one after that, and then the next one, and then so many more. Like y'all, care about you all. I uh, appreciate y'all being here. So, have a good night. Thank you for watching. We'll be back to our regularly scheduled content tomorrow.